Hi everyone, I'm Mario and welcome to Code on Fire. In this tutorial, we'll dive into what root motion is and how we can use it in our projects. Root motion is a technique used to control character movement through animation data rather than being dictated by game code. Simply put, the movement of a root, the root bone of a character's skeleton determines how the character moves within the game world. You could even say that when root motion is enabled, the relationship between the collision capsule and the character skeleton is reversed. As a result, the character becomes the parent of the collision capsule, moving it in the direction dictated by the animation. For instance, if we check out this animation, and uh, enable root motion by ticking this box, we notice uh, that the character moves along a path defined by the root bones motion in the skeleton. Let's test it out. Select the animation sequence, right click on it, go to create and generate an animation montage. Then head over uh, to the character's blueprint, specifically the third person blueprint uh, since we are currently using a, a third person project. In the event graph, create the logic that uh, allows the animation to play when a button is pressed. For example, we can use the left mouse button as input, find the play montage node, add the animation to it, set the skeletal mesh of the character as the target and connect everything. Next, select the capsule. In the details window, look for hidden in game and uncheck it. This will let us um, see how the capsule behaves when the animation is executed during, during gameplay. First, test the animation with the root motion disabled. To do this, go to the animation sequence and uncheck root motion. Now, hit play. As you can see, the animation runs, but the capsule stays in the same position. As a result, the character snaps back to its original spot at the end of animation. Let's try the same thing, but, with the, but this time with the root motion enabled. In this case, the collision capsule moves along with the character just as expected. Using this technique, you can create uh, special movements like slides, uh, rolls, uh, or acrobatic actions. It also um, enables, uh, enables uh, actions requiring greater interaction with the environment, such as uh, climbing st stairs, uh, scaling walls, uh, and so on. Additionally, you can develop locomotion systems based on root motion. Sometimes uh, you might notice sliding uh, or other incorrect character movements when using root motion. In these cases, you can fix uh, such issues by enabling the force root lock option, unless the problem is uh, caused by alignment errors uh, in the animation itself. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.